We are almost at the January transfer window. Things are going good. They're going good. But today we face a Spurs in the first game who are top of the table. So following on from the last episode against Huddersfield and Birmingham where we got beat both games, we followed that up with a 2-0 away win in the League Cup fourth round against QPR. Adam Lewis and Abdullahi Garba with the goals. We then suffered defeat at home against Manchester United. It was a pretty even game, but Martinez gave them the goal in the 66th minute and crushed our hopes and dreams. Next up was a 2-0 away defeat against Chelsea. And in this game, <laughs> you could argue that we probably deserved the win. But in the end, Chelsea got a 2-0 win and <laughs> so many defeats in a row. And then the result of the season, probably Nottingham Forest 3, Manchester City 0. Kotaro Nakamoto with the first goal, Shane Pierce and Sergei Yamaljanov with the others and ugh, just our best performance of the season. Uh, and we follow that up with a 3-1 away defeat against Bristol City. Now this one's all on Mark War Antonio. He got us in front nine minutes in, they equalised and then he got himself sent off 33 minutes in and that just completely ruined our game. We dominated the match even with 10 men but we fell to a 3-1 defeat. We did bounce back though with a 3-1 away win against Watford. Adam Ida of course scored. Of course he did. Uh, Fukushima, Dabanovic and Nakamoto for us. We followed that with a 4-0 home win against Norwich. Down to 10 men again. Lucas Pinter getting sent off in the 37th minute this time. We were already 2-0 up at the time. And Norwich didn't really make their man advantage count at all. We scored a further two goals in the second half through Dabanovic and Delpy. And a comfortable win. We then went away from home against Middlesbrough and pinched a win in the 92nd minute. Jamie Coyle converting a penalty late on. And uh, that's, what, three or four wins on the bounce? And finally, it was the League Cup quarter-final away from home against Huddersfield. And they definitely have our number. They beat us again. Eddie Nketiah and Fabio Luis with a brace getting the three for them. Adam Lewis from the penalty spot for us in the second half. But we didn't really create anything in this game. And that sees the Premier League table looking like this. We are in the top four. We are fourth. One point behind Manchester City in third level on points with Manchester United in fifth. But uh, I would have definitely have taken this 17 games in to be on 34 points. If we were to win our next two games, which is highly unlikely, it would be on 40 points on the halfway mark. Um, but uh, <laughs> that's probably not going to happen. If we look at the schedule, we have Spurs at home, who currently sit top of the table. And then we have Liverpool away, who currently sit in second. And just to make matters worse, we are having to play a little bit of a rotated side. Lucas Pinter is suspended our left back and Nakamoto picked up five yellow cards. So he is suspended for this game as well. So our left back is going to be Adam Lewis. Central midfield is going to be Shane Pearce with Garber coming into his spot in attack and midfield. Other than that though, we are full strength. Let's get into the match and see how we get on against the league leaders. So there come us with the 4-2-3-1. Any Rogerio, he always scores. Of course he does, he's fantastic. For Fana, I don't really recognise, but of course he's fantastic. Tomasak, never seen him. He's fantastic. Marcelo Vicaria in goal. <laughs> pretty, pretty, pretty good. Let's, let's just kick off. Let's stop looking at their players. Highlight early on into corner for Spurs. The shot is uh, put in, but we do manage to block it. Phil Fodden again on this left-hand side. Whips it in. Good save by the keeper. Oh, Yemeljanov picks the pocket of Upa Mencano and he's in behind and he goes for goal. It's a good save by Marcelo Vicaria in the end. We'll stick with the corner. We've scored a good few corners this season. Mark Antonio whips it in. And maybe not this time. Karimi out of Balas. Come on, Garber. Oh, the... yeah. Free kick for Spurs 11 minutes in. Fodden plays it in. It's going to be a penalty, isn't he? It's going to be a penalty. David Ballas gives away the penalty and who is stepping up to take it? Rogerio is the man. Can uh, Magyar be the... No, he, he can't be my hero. Nottingham Forest nil, Spurs one. The rest of the first half is just ticking away. Nothing really happening for either side. Going by the match stats, though, we're not being outclassed by Spurs here. They have just been far more clinical in the final third. I'm not happy with the performance. We'll tell the boys anyway. And uh, we'll kick off for the second. Hope for just some urgency. Corner for us. Antonio plays it in. Fukushima is there. And there is our corner goal. Hikaru Fukushima's fifth goal of the season from centre-back. And Marco Antonio is the man providing the assist. The keeper almost saves it, but he doesn't. Throw in deep in Spurs halves for us. Harewood is the man taking it. Karimi to Garber. We get dispossessed by Phil Fodden. And Fofana completely does the centre-back. And he is aware. He beats his other man as well. Don't take him down. I mean, why didn't you take him down? Why didn't you take him down? Suleiman Fofana 
his 13th goal of the season, and we were level for a few minutes. It wasn't that long, but he completely does both of our centre-halves here. Fukushima just can't get anywhere near him for Pierce, and uh, we pay the price. We'll look to make some subs final few minutes of the game. We'll uh, take off Karimi for Ilan Delby. Uh, we'll take off Yemeljanov for Ian Pierce, who's had a poor game. Uh, not Ian, Lee Pierce. And we'll bring on Florian for Marco Antonio on that right-hand side. We don't really have the strength and depth for me to actually feel like my substitute's going to make any impact on the game. Um, but we have a highlight, five minutes to go. It's Spurs currently in possession. Thomas Ack to Phil Foden in the centre. He plays the ball over the top for Fofana. He connects with it first time. Fortunately for us, it goes over the bar. And it looks like we are going to fall to a defeat in the first game today. Not a bad performance against one of the best sides in the league. Nottingham Forest 1, Spurs 2. Let's move on to the Liverpool game. So, we're at the game against Liverpool. And we have some pretty major issues. Karimi is away on international duty due to return in February. Fukushima is away on international duty due to return in February. And Mark Antonio is ineligible because he's on loan from Liverpool. So the Asian Cup is going to absolutely knack us for the time being. So we're going to play a pretty heavily rotated side against Liverpool today. Dubanovic comes in at strike as Jimmy Coyle moves out to the right-hand side. Nakamoto does return after his suspension, but Ilan Delby comes in in the defensive midfield position. And Brendan Walker, one of our academy products, comes in at centre-back. Uh, <laughs> we're Liverpool a second. We're away from home. This isn't good. I mean, do we even need to talk about this squad? We've seen it before. We've seen him before. Let's move on. Let's get a kick off. Let's go get beat. First highlight of the game, Cherky playing in a free kick for Liverpool. Mariba gets his head on it, but it uh, wasn't really a particularly great header, so maybe we might be countering from this. Jimmy Coyle tries to set away Dubanovic with Tadebo. has uh, got the pace as a centre-half to be able to counter that sort of thing. And we give the ball away on the halfway line. Liverpool work it nicely to the left-hand side. Cherky gets brought down by Harewood in the box. Please see it was a free kick. It's a penalty. I thought it was. And how many penalties have we given away now? Uh, quite a few alongside red cards. Mariba steps up. Buries that. There was absolutely no chance for Magyar. And Iliax Mariba, seventh goal of the season, puts Liverpool 1-0 up. There is a highlight straight from kickoff. Maybe we might, you know, immediately get a goal back. Or, alternatively, it could be a 2-0 Liverpool situation. They work it out to Harvey Elliott on this right-hand side. Don't give away another penalty, Lucas Pinter. He plays it back to Alberto Antonio. He whips it in. Procker's there at the back post. And Cherky gets his sixth goal of the season. And Liverpool, five minutes in. 2-0 <laughs> up. I'm going on the counter. I'm, I'm waving the white flag. Corner for Liverpool, eight minutes in. The header is... I think it was caught by Magyar. Or whether it was gravity or whatever. Harewood brings it down this right-hand side for us and gives the ball away. And Cherky beats our defence and he's in behind Magyar with a save. I think I hate Liverpool. I hate playing Liverpool on FM. Even now, how many years are we into this? For 10 years? Something like that? And yet, they punish us every single time we play them. There's Declan Rice getting his first of the season to put Liverpool 3-0 up. And we are sinking without a trace. Another highlight now, Liverpool again coming down this right-hand side. Yamel Genoff ends up winning the ball back for us, but Mariba picks it back up for Liverpool. And Elliot is set away by Tadebo. Procker's in the box. Good block by the defence. Clearance by Nakamoto and Dubanovic. Picks up the ball on this left-hand side. Come on, son. Ah, oh, he's lost it. Jerky with another free kick for Liverpool. Played in the back post. Great save by Magyar. We somehow managed to get it clear. And they play it down to the right-hand side again. Thankfully, I mean, this isn't working. Obviously, it just isn't working. Come on, boys, get a goal back, just for pride's sake. Give me give me that little bit of hope. Pierce on the left-hand side, out of Pinter. It's whipped in, it's headed clear, and um, a pro uh, Procker. He's gen Gentian Procker, 17th goal of the season. Liverpool 4, Nottingham Forest nil, And it started out with so much hope. We were in their final third. But, uh, yeah. I'm not getting excited. Should I get excited? Is it offside? Is it being disallowed? It hasn't. David Ballas with his first of the season. A great free kick by Nakamoto. And uh, Liverpool for Nottingham Forest 1. Let's uh, kick back off for the second half and see how we get on. 
First highlight of the second half, Nakamoto gives the ball away to Mariba. And uh, Harvey Ali pumps it over the top. Proctor's in behind. And Proctor doesn't score this time. 20 minutes to go. It's all to play for. Howard plays it in. It's cleared. Nakamoto is the man who's first on it. Pintner drives into the box. Switches the play to Howard. Ugh, why did you try and head it down to Ilan Delby? Thankfully, we don't get countered this time. We actually win the ball back, which is very pleasant to see. Coyle switches the play to Yemeljanov on this left-hand side. His cross is blocked, but Lucas Pinter is first to it. Back to Ilan Delby. He tries to find Coyle and he gets dispossessed and Proctor's away. <laughs> I've already dropped me defensive line. I'm telling you, I'm not pressing that high. And yet, we still get countered. Gentian and Proctor's 18th goal of the season. Liverpool 5, Nottingham Forest 1. And uh, depression. I mean, I don't even trust the highlights when we've got the ball. I don't even think it's going to be our highlight. We've just won a corner. And Yemeljanov goes close. Jamie Coyle's going to be the man to take it. Liverpool clear. We do win the ball. Ilan Delby. There we are. Just, just let it be a throw in. And for our troubles, Yemeljanov gets himself injured. We'll bring on Lee Pierce on that left hand side. We will look to make another couple of subs as well. Uh, Howard doesn't have a replacement. Shane Pierce can come off for Abdullah Garba. And Jamie Coyle can come off for Florian on that right-hand side. Highlight now. Liverpool on the attack once again. Lucas Pinter wins it. We'll boot the ball clear. Dubanovic just doesn't have the pace to cause uh, the two centre-backs of Liverpool any problems. That's why, ideally, you play Jamie Doyle up top rather than Dubanovic. But needs must at times like this with suspensions and international tournaments and stuff like that. Alexander-Arnold drives into the box. Gets his cross in. It's blocked by us. They go close, but Magyar with a good save. And there we have it then. Liverpool 5, Nottingham Forest 1. Not a good performance by us. Um, we weren't at full strength. We're missing two really, really key players. And we'll be missing them for the next month. So uh, we're going to have to try and wheel and deal in this transfer market, I do think. So the next episode will, of course, be the January transfer window. Now, the issue with that is we've got 708 ink here. Now, usually by this point, with most other teams who I've entered the Premier League with, the board would say, hey, yeah, here's another 20 million to spend. Try and do something. Now, we've increased our balance to 28 million. Um, and our projection is now 40 million for the course of the season. So you'd think maybe the board might give us something. Maybe they might give us an extra 10, an extra 15. We'll, we will ask them. Key signings, come on. We believe that the current transfer budget is sufficient. Oh, do you now? We're going to be left be, uh, investing money. In the, we disagree in the strongest possible terms. The club is doing perfectly fine, and you do. Uh, both of us are, and you would deserve us by suggestion. Otherwise, your request is denied. So, uh, although I would love to make some major changes to our first 11, particularly the wing backs, um, it's not happening. So, if anything is to happen in terms of January, it will be from player sales. We'll get 75% of transfer revenue budget, which isn't too bad. Um, we do have a couple of players who are currently wanted. The likes of David Ballas has been wanted all season. But yeah, maybe not so much major changes as I was hoping. But coming into the halfway point then, we currently sit on 34 points after 19 games, which isn't too bad. If we were to repeat this performance for the second half of the season, we'll be on 68 and we will have beaten Barnsley's point record, which will be ideal. Um, I do think at this point that the likes of Birmingham and Leeds are a little bit of a stretch too far. Uh, but you never know, we might be able to have an absolutely phenomenal second half to the season as our players continue to improve and stuff like that. And we might be able to pull off some miracles in January, you'll have to see in the next episode. But anyway, if you haven't been enjoying today's content, please consider leaving a like. And if you are enjoying my content overall, get yourself subscribed. But until next time, take it easy.